Hello everybody and welcome back to Typical City. Matoma is the most recent player to be linked with Manchester City. Now, is it true? Because it comes from the sun. You have to question the legitimacy of this transfer rumour. And in other news, Bernardo Silva is close to extending his contract with Manchester City. Does it get any better news than that? That is potentially the best bit of business that City will do in this transfer window. Incredible news if that comes true. But let's start with Matoma. What do you guys make of Matoma in terms of bedding him into the City squad? Because I have very, very mixed feelings with regards to the player himself, with regards to the player fitting in. And you immediately think Jack Grealish, don't you? So let's look at Jack Grealish's stats last season. This is in total. So you've got 50 appearances, 3,486 minutes, 5 goals and 11 assists, which is not great numbers in truth. The goals is a big problem. We need, to, we need to double that, really. We need to be doubling that. Uh, assists, good. Not bad. Now let's look at Matoma. 41 appearances in total. 2,910 minutes. 10 goals and 8 assists. And that's in the Brighton side. Jack Grealish, you have to factor in that Jack Grealish is in a Manchester City side. So the chances are you're going to get more goal scoring opportunities. And more opportunities to create assists. And you'd think Matoma would increase those numbers in a City shirt if he joined. Now, there is a PR side of this that City needs to worry about. And it's the £100 million price tag of Jack Grealish. The, the management of the image of Manchester City comes into question. Just picture the headlines. Three or four games and Grealish has started every one of those games on the bench. Picture the headlines. You know what they are. City wasting money. Uh, all, all this money's uh, gone to waste and uh, and, and Jack Grealish is, is just a, a, an English wasted talent it will be and Matoma's coming for less money and they've splashed the cash once again just to fix a £100 million problem. Now, I heard the City Extra lad yesterday call that it was only a left winger. I've heard other channels call Matoma only a left winger. Now, that's not true. He did play right wing against Arsenal last season. Didn't last long. Didn't last long. He lasted a barely the half of the first half. And on the right wing, he was swapped back onto the left wing because it was a calamitous situation for that particular role. That doesn't mean he can't go there again. We can't go off 25 minutes of him playing in right wing. I certainly believe he can play right wing. I don't see why not. You go back to his Kawasaki days where he got 18 goals and 14 assists in one of his seasons. He was playing left wing, centre midfield and right wing. In, all the, in, in the whole season. So there is versatility there. You move him into the Belgian league when he played for Union SG. Eight goals and four assists. He played left wing, centre midfield, centre forward and right wing. Now his numbers weren't great in the Belgian league, but that was part of his growth. He is growing at that time. Now his numbers are visible in the Premier League and clearly that's what we're going off. We're going off his Premier League time. And what we've seen is him play left wing for Brighton and Hove Albion. That doesn't mean he can't play right wing. Now, that excites me, the idea of him playing right wing. But it comes with the caveat of, if he's not playing right wing, he's got to play left wing. In which case, Jack Grealish, what happens to him? What happens to Jack Grealish? Now, there are stats that I've not given you. Looking at this carousel of stats here that's going round, I'm also interested in other areas of the game. Now... In Jack Grealish's favour, there's one stat that stands out that's not good reading for big um, for Matoma, and that's big chances missed, which is 12 compared to Jack Grealish's two. You could flip that and ask you could ask yourself how many big chances did Jack Grealish actually create for himself? Would he have missed that many had he created them? Because at least Matoma's getting into that position to create those chances and get and miss them. Fine, he's missing them. That's not good. We'd rather he put them in the net, wouldn't you? But at the end of the day, at least he's getting into those positions to miss them. You know, 